<laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? So today I'm gonna show you how to get some bomb curls with Bantu knots. Yes. Um, I went for some really small curls, so I'm gonna show you how to achieve this look. Okay, so I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I actually use the Just Natural products. I use the shampoo, um, and then I use the conditioner. It's filled with like a whole bunch of natural ingredients, and it left my hair super soft. And I use the leave-in conditioner to actually do my Bantu knot out. So um, right now, I'm just dividing my hair. Make sure you divide your hair in the direction you want it to go ahead of time, because it's kind of hard to adjust your curls. And now I'm applying the leave-in conditioner, y'all. I mean, it, it defined my hair. It made it feel soft and smooth and shiny. Like, it was really amazing. I can't say enough about the leave-in conditioner. And you see about the size part that I made, um, the set size section that I made. And now I'm adding some olive oil to my hair. And what I like to do first with my Bantu knots, I twist my hair first. And this helps you get more definition. So if you don't naturally have curly hair, this really helps. So just spin the twist and then use one hand to actually navigate the twist around the little bun you're essentially making. You're making a little ball and just spin it around. Use one hand to hold the twist taut and the other hand to guide the twist around the little bantu knot you're making. It's really simple. Just continue to spin around and around and around until there's no more twist left to spin. And you have a little bantu knot. <laughs> And just move on to the next section. Um, you see about the size I'm using, I'm actually gonna get really small curls from this. So if you want bigger curls, make your sections a lot bigger. And I'm just repeating the process, the steps, um, twisting the hair and actually spin it. The tighter you make it, that's the key to getting a really nice curl. And use one hand to spin and actually guide the twist around the bantu knot and one hand to actually hold it taut and just spin it as tight as you can. Not too tight, like you don't want a headache, but um, the tightness definitely helps with the definition of the curl. So just spin it towards the bottom. Keep wrapping it around the bottom of the bantu. I'm gonna show you one more time. All you're doing is spinning um, and go to the root of the hair. When you wrap the twist around, keep it around the bottom of the bantu knot and continue to spin around and around and around like that yes 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 and i'm halfway done right here it really doesn't take a super long time to do it especially when you get the hang of it so yeah halfway done and now i'm completely finished with my entire head and you can see how it looks some are lean and some are loose um, but when it comes down, like I'm taking them down here, they always come out really nice. And I actually left my in for 24 hours. I wore a hat to work. And um, the longer you leave them in, the tighter it's going to be, of course. So, um, but that's the key. You have to let it dry completely. If you don't let it dry completely, it's going to come out looking kind of bad. You know, frizzy, not all the way defined or whatever so um so yeah i'm just taking it down here you can see i got some really tight curls um they wouldn't wouldn't have been this tight if i wouldn't have left them in so long like let them sit for so long and you can see how tight the curls are there so remember the smaller the bantu knot the smaller the curl the bigger the bantu knot the bigger the curl i like to take them down by unraveling it the opposite way the twist and then pulling the twist apart. It's definitely easier and you're cut down on tangles. And as you can see, I got some really, really nice curls. They're super tight. And um, I actually wanted to go for updo. That's why I did them um, pretty tight because my hair is um, long and they fall long. So I wanted some tight curls so I can wear, you know, an updo. So I'm just using the pick to create some volume to kind of separate the curls a little bit. And I just threw my hair up in um, this updo. It's really simple. I'm gonna save the tutorial for another video because this is mostly about the curls from the Bantu knot. My curls were like so bomb that day. I just love my hair. All right, y'all, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now stay tuned for a little style inspiration. You and me, that's two of the best. I got what you need, so stop all that stress. Lay my hands on your neck, rubbing your back, caressing your breast. Phenomenal woman, tell me what you want next. I'm ready for that. You deserve nothing less. Girl, you know I adore you. Love for you too, and try to stay loyal. You're thinking the thank yous in order. So, baby, I thank you for your understanding, like no other. And for the miss, you cook me in the kitchen when I'm hungry. But I could do this be that when you want.
And make sure you check out my previous video. Um, we did a one pass test with the Izu Tech flat iron, meaning that um, they claim that you can actually strain your hair in one pass. So I tested it on my sister's type four hair and you can check out her results here. If you want more information on Just Natural products and I highly, highly suggest y'all check them out, um, go to their website here. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Peace, love, and lux. Ha, 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 ha.